Next up on WTV, the theater department's improv show, this week's edition of My Life Has, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Thursday, January 23rd, and I'm Kyle Strickland with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. The Red Hawk Theater Department is having an improv winter show tonight at 7. WTV's Paul Lee has the details. The Red Hawk Improv members have been rehearsing every Tuesday and Friday morning before school, getting ready for the performance in the Black Box starting at 7 p.m. We've been working really hard. We've been working since the beginning of the year to get everything ready for the show. And our cast has been working really, really, really hard. And they're really awesome. And basically, we're just going to be having a lot of fun. And the audience is going to be on stage with us. And we are going to just be basically playing games and coming up with things on the spot. And it should be a lot of fun. For theater members such as Mia Trenel, improv is a great training. I'm really excited. I didn't do improv last year, so this will be my first improv show. Uh, it's really helpful when it comes to theater to just be able to make something up on the spot and say yes, because it helps you learn about comedic timing and it helps you to just start saying yes in general. It, has, it helps you because one of the rules is only to say yes because you can't deny anything else. Um, I really like improv so far. We play a lot of really fun games. The theater department has already put on several shows this year, but tomorrow night is a debut performance for the improv troupe. This is actually our first improv show from this year, so I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time, but we've been working hard, so I think we can pull it off. Reporting for WTV, I'm Paul Lee. On this week's edition of My Life As, WTV takes a look in the life of ISM student Annie Tian. So ISIM stands for Independent Study and Mentorship, and it's basically a program where a student is allowed to go out into the real world and um, just like study a field that they're interested in. So for example, I have always been really interested in the field of orthodontics, and so ISIM is a great platform and a great class for me to take so that I can go, I um, have to do my own calls and everything, so it's like I get professional experience and um, I'll go on research interviews and I'll ask them about their field and then I can finally um, after going on a bunch of interviews, uh, decide who I want to, uh, to be my mentor for the year, and then I get to go into their office and ask about their experiences, uh, experiences, and then um, shadow them. So at my mentor's clinic, uh, he's an orthodontist, so I just watch him um, like check for patients' braces and their alignment and stuff like that. So our showcase is, um, at the beginning of the year, they tell us that we have two big projects almost. So the first one is our um, original work, and that's for first semester, and then second semester, we work on something that builds off of our original work called our final product. And so an original work is basically something that the student comes up with. It, can, um, it has to benefit the uh, field that they're studying, or they try to make it benefit the field. So it can be anything from a research paper to like a student building their own model and stuff like that. And so a research showcase is basically where um, each ISM student gets to showcase their first semester and what they did. So their work and um, they could, uh, it's a great opportunity for uh, people to come and learn about different careers. It's a great opportunity for their mentor to come and kind of see uh, how their student has been doing. And it's also a great opportunity for the student to share some of their experiences for this year. WTV's Walker Shippey gives you a preview of wrestling on today's Sports Minute. Wrestling competes this afternoon in a dual meet versus Whitesboro and Heritage High School. The girls and boys teams are both coming off two team wins over Independence and the Colony on Thursday. The competition starts at 5 o'clock at Frisco High School. For WTV Sports, this is Walker Shippey. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Voter registrations will be held during all lunches on Friday. To register for the March 3rd primaries, students need to turn 18 on or before March 3rd. Those that will be 18 after March 3rd but before March 31st can also register but will not be able to vote in the primaries, but will be registered for all other elections in 2020. 
Students registering must have a picture ID that also indicates their birth date. A driver's license is preferred. The PALS Student Ambassador course application is now open. Upcoming juniors and seniors are invited to apply for this prestigious program. Applications are due by February 13th at 4.30 p.m. Please come by the counseling office with any questions. The link to apply is bit.ly slash PALS2020. Are TikTok and YouTube part of your daily routine? If so, sign up for Video Tech on your 2020-2021 class schedule. Students in Video Tech will learn how to make quality videos that can be used across a wide variety of platforms, from class projects to social media. Visit room C102 for more information. Do you enjoy photography, writing, marketing? Join Yearbook. Applications are due by February 13th and are available outside of room C147. Don't miss out on reserving a yearbook. Buy yours for $75 by January 31st at balfour.com. That's it for today's daily update. This is Kyle Strickland for Wingspan TV.